Okay, hello, welcome to a different type of Helen's home cooking today. We're actually going to have a bash at growing our own carrots, Brussels sprouts and leeks. Now, if like me often you get put off by the prices of things, I'm going to try and show you a different way to do things with the help of Casper from Twitter, thank you very much, who gave me the idea for these ones, which are actually just toilet roll holders which I have cut in half and I've already prepared all these wheat seedling pots by half filling with a, a seed compost. Now that's the one thing I didn't particularly skirt on. It, buy what you can afford to, but the better the seed compost at this stage, the better chance you have of your seeds growing. So we've just half filled everything. These are just, as you can see, just egg uh, cartons, the bottom ends of the egg cartons, and then obviously the top ends too. So the carrots you can actually be a wee bit more liberal with because they grow, they'll shoot away from each other and they're my leeks seated all over the floor but that's not matter, we'll tidy that one after. So we'll just, three or four to each one, we'll just give you an idea. Now all this soil has already been prepared by watering, allowing it to soak in. And just the idea behind doing them in these cartons is that hopefully you will be able to just literally break them off come the time of potting it out into we're going to use um, troughs anything that you can pick up at the charity shops you go with an open mind things like uh, baby baths if you've not got a lot of garden just think ahead you know so things like baby baths or old basins keep your old basins anything like that is good to be planting on what else we've done is we've actually literally kept some potatoes from Christmas which we've allowed to root themselves, saves again buying your like your seedling patties. Just allow them to root and then if you've got old tyres, if you can get a hold of old tyres, go to the dumps, things like that. And then just pile them up two or three deep. You probably need to line it with some sheeting, just even bin bags, things like that and uh, just plant your tatties straight in. So we'll be doing that another day. So literally just a few bits and bobs of your seeds and then just cover them over. Now, like I say, I'm just literally using anything that came to hand. So I've got a wee dessert spoon here, nothing fancy. Just, you're walking your carrots don't need very much, just about a quarter of an inch covering. And then you'll need to water them in and that will be your carrots started. Then what we'll do is we'll cover them. We've got some glass um, mats, you know, uh, just table mats, things like that. You can always pick them up in the charity shops and we'll just cover them over with the glass mats and pop them under the table to start with. And these should start to show in a couple of weeks. Just pop the carrots out the road and then bring the sprouts up and just do the same again with the sprouts and then the leeks. So nothing fancy as you can see. I mean, sometimes it's sprouts, they're a slightly bigger seed, so just two to each one. Nice and easy. Now keep your trial and roll holders as you go because it's quite a good idea to have these two or three weeks apart. The one, one reason I've chosen these particular vegetables is that most of these will stay in the ground right over the winter. So you can actually just lift them as you need them. Just always go with the instructions on the back, but if you want to just keep collecting all your various toilet roll holders and kitchen roll holders, space them out if you want. You don't need to because like I say they will grow over the winter and they'll stay in the ground. But if you want to space them out there's no, no harm in doing that. You'll know how many, what size of family you've got and how many you'll need to go at any one time. I'm calling this Brexit preparations because gosh knows what kind of stuff will be in the, the shops by the winter. So that's why we are doing this. We're just having a bash at growing our own veg. And we'll just do it over the next couple of weeks. We'll come back and like I say, I'm just putting them into troughs or old bathtubs, whatever you can get to hand. And um, again, just sprinkling them over. The bigger the seed, less to each one. That's about the only rule of thumb but you can split them after this anyway 
and that is basically all we are needing to be doing today is literally just covering these over water them all in and fingers crossed in a couple of weeks we're going to have the start of our carrots and sprouts and brussels, brussels sprouts and leeks even so the makings of soup started right here so welcome to my conservatory by the way aren't we so lucky we're very very lucky with our views it's a beautiful day in Orkney today so please excuse any shadows that may have been created in the filming of this but fingers crossed this will work and then we'll be able to in about a month's time or so give you a, an update as we plant them on out so thank you for watching bye